This is session eight in the heart fitness class. And what I want to ask you is, are you good at doing thoughtful things for other people? Because that takes time and energy. And a lot of times when we're stressed, it just it doesn't even occur to us. So this week, notice whether you do those things, do things for other people or not. Go out of your way to notice what would that, what would, what could I do for that person that would be a really kind and thoughtful and considerate thing to do for them. Notice what their needs are. Maybe um, there's somebody at work that you could ask, is there anything I can do to, to help you? I've got a little free time right now. Huge difference. Maybe it's somebody, you, you know, one of your girlfriends at work or with your partner. Notice what you might be able to do for them. It doesn't have to involve gifts and buying them things. It's more a matter of being noticing what would make a difference to them, what would make them just happy that you did that. Maybe cook a really nice meal if you haven't cooked a good meal for a while. And maybe their favorite dish. Just it doesn't have to be on a night you go to work, go, okay, Saturday I'm gonna take the time to take care of myself and then I'm gonna go shopping and then I'm gonna make him that favorite meal of his that he hasn't that I haven't had the time to or the energy or the desire to do for a long time. Whatever it is, this will affect your heart, your openness to love and being loved. When we don't have time to do these things, when we don't even think of it, how I mean imagine that you've got this energy that is dying to come out, this love energy, and it's dying to receive the love that you know, you're hoping somebody else will give you, whether it's your partner or Mr. Right that's hopefully going to show up next week. <laughs> it's going to make a difference if you start focusing on these things. These are all habits I want you to develop so that it becomes a natural thing for your heart to just be emanating love all the time. You know why? It feels good. It feels great. And it will make you live longer, healthier, happier. All these things, you won't age as quickly. The science is showing us that our attitude, our perspective, our habits, how we treat others, how we treat ourselves, has to do with our how we age. I mean, having our health go bad is part of aging. It doesn't have to be. And taking care of others and taking care of yourself keeps this love energy flowing and then everything in your life is better, I swear. It's all part of just enjoying life, celebrating life, and being grateful for every moment that you're here. Make it matter. When you make another person matter, you matter. And your life becomes something really, 